fancy meeting. Oh, again? I don't trust goals. He's always trying to set me up for failure. Oh, this should be good. Do tell. Are you sure, Ruben? Last time you chose me and turned out I was actually trying to help you. Hey, you got through that, didn't we? Look, Goals is definitely setting us up for this appointment this time. So you're saying I'm sabotaging us. Absolutely. That's funny. Because it's saw you hanging out with procrastination in the break room. Ruben, is this true? No, no, he's just trying to shift the blame on me. We, we gotta eliminate goals from the equation. Or we could just skip and think about it later again. I don't know. We could avoid taking any risk and vote Ruben out right now. Now that's a great idea. Who's with me? Wait. No, please, I'm right this time. Sorry, Ruben. You doubted it one too many times. Oh, no! Guys, do not trust your goals. I mean, they have their uses and they are kind of important, but don't trust them. There are several pitfalls you could fall into. And in this video, I'll talk about three of them. So stay tuned. First of all, Goals are dying the moment you set them. Now, what do I mean with that? There are two frames I like to use here. First of all, it's like a cup of coffee. You know, setting a goal. Initially, it gives you a boost of energy and you're like, yeah, let's do this. Uh, but the longer it goes on, the more the energy goes, you know, down and down and down until, you, you know, it's all gone. Most goals are like that and if you try to pursue them and the energy is gone, it's just an uphill battle, you know? It's okay to let go of a goal if you don't feel the energy is there anymore. And that doesn't necessarily mean scrapping it entirely. Sometimes you just need to rephrase it a little to get that energy back again. It's like taking another sip of your coffee, right? The second frame I like to use here is that you are constantly changing as a person. You know, when you set a goal, you are a certain person. And as time goes on, you are a constantly changing individual. And at a certain point, it's gonna be a completely different person who set the initial goal from who you are today. You might read or hear about something that makes you feel completely different about a certain aspect of life. An example from my personal life is when I initially started YouTubing in 2022, I promised myself to publish weekly. And at a certain point, I heard about TikTok and I was like, oh yeah, TikTok, the dancing app. Apparently, it's not just a dancing app. It's almost as varied as YouTube. And I heard how easy it was to get views and I was like, okay, the videos I'm creating on YouTube are not really getting views. So let me give that a go. I was extremely lazy in the beginning with this. I just took an existing YouTube video of mine and cut it up into smaller parts and uploaded it to TikTok. And it instantly got like hundreds of views and was like, oh, a whole new world is opening for me. So that made me shift my goal of publishing weekly on YouTube to giving TikTok a go and posting regularly on that. After a while, I figured that TikTok wasn't really achieving what I wanted out of life. And eventually I went back to YouTube. Now you could say that was a wasted exploration, but I say any exploration is valuable. I learned more about what I wanted out of the YouTubing. And if I stuck too much to my weekly uploading schedule, I would have never learned that about myself. Goals are just fixed points in the future that don't account for the dynamic nature of life. When we're too attached to goals, flexibility is lost and we are not able to adapt to the changing circumstances of the world. The second pitfall is that goals put the focus on the end and not the journey itself. A question I like to ask myself here is, if I never achieved the goal, would I still pursue this path? You might think this a bit overdramatic, but really, think about it. A common goal I often see is people want to earn a certain amount of money. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna put a lot of effort into this. It's gonna suck, but in the end, it's gonna be worth it. But then I'm like, 
okay, but if it's gonna suck, is it really gonna be worth it? Like, what if you do eventually earn that money? Wait, no, no, even better. What if you earn that money right now? Would you immediately quit everything you're doing? Honestly, if that's the case, I think you need to reconsider your goals. Often, people with monetary goals lose all their motivation once they earn that money. It's like there's no more point in creating anything because I have the money, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a goal and the main motivation of the goal is re reaching the end, then that's probably not a good goal because the motivation relies on something that's not sustainable. It'd be like if you listen to the song and you're like, come on, when does the song end? I want to reach the end of the song. It's like, you're missing the point, man. You're missing present moment awareness. It's like the typical trope in movies where the dad is like, oh no, I just, no time for family, I gotta go to work, 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 right? You know, we, we know it's not a good thing, but I still see people really often falling into that trap, even though a lot of movies are like, no, this is, this, don't do that. The third and final pitfall is that goals can set us up for disappointment. It's kind of tricky here because on one hand, there's a lot of benefits in setting ambitious goals, but I feel like people don't always handle those as well. Yes, set ambitious goals, but also don't be disappointed if you don't reach them. If you have a goal to work on something every single day and then one day you quit, instead of being like, ah oh, no, I failed my style, I'm such a loser. Take a step back and be like, okay, what went wrong here? Why did I not work on this today? Do we need to change the plan, our work method? For me, when I failed uploading YouTube videos, I figured that I was just being too ambitious. I had to lower the bar so much that it would be almost pathetic if I didn't reach it. So instead of creating high production worthy videos, I started, you know, to just film myself talking. And I was like, wait, that's it? That's all it takes to create a video? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's all it takes. And I also realized it's okay that things go slowly. Goals also have this tendency for us to expect when we achieve them. And you gotta be okay with the fact that it often takes a lot longer than one expects. I think there's a quote somewhere that says something like, we overestimate what we can do in a year, but we underestimate what we can do in like five, 10 years. And I think there is a lot of truth in that. It took me two years to figure out this whole motivation thing, which I never would have expected. But I'm starting to create momentum now. So I know that with time, things will be okay. So yeah, those are the pitfalls with goals. Don't trust them. They're sus. It's not as easy as just setting a goal and then trying to pursue it. There goes a lot more behind the scenes. And now, while I'll try to finish this coffee, why don't you comment down below what you want to see from this channel? I have a lot more to say about motivation. So if you want to hear that, comment, please. See you next time. Mm.